Hello and welcome to the Cycling Triathlete. Here's a little update on how the train road polarized plan is going. So first time doing this plan, I have done other train road plans in the past. This one's been pretty good so far. I'm roughly three weeks in, two days off, three weeks in. Uh, I've been completing all the workouts fairly rigidly. So I've been doing them all when I'm meant to be doing them apart from one, which I've just moved to a different day. So everything's been done as it's meant to be. So that should be popping up on the screen now. So you can have a little look at that. So what do I think of the plan? Uh, main plans I've done with Trainer Road before are the base phase, which is a lot to be honest if you look at it, uh, for, especially for a triathlete. As a cyclist you can get away with it, but training three disciplines is a bit trickier. So the polarized plan has been better in that aspect. I've also done the build phase before, um, which I liked as well. Definitely felt like I was getting somewhere with that. Um, nice VO2 max intervals on that one. I haven't done a speciality phase yet, so I can't comment on that. So, so far, essentially, the polarized plan has been my favorite. So, so far, I can definitely recommend that you give it a go yourself. It seems to match up quite well with research. Uh, it's got two intensity days a week, and the rest is easy. Uh, there's quite a bit of research to back that up as a good approach. It's got a threshold workout and a VO2 max workout for the two intensities. And the rest are all sort of zone one, low zone two workouts, uh, easy spinning, an hour to two hours. For a trainer road plan, it's a fairly low volume. Um, it's about, I think it's about eight hours a week. Um, and then it goes up to sort of nine. So for someone with more time on their hands, it's on the lower end for a high volume plan. Uh, but probably just about right if you don't have much time. So some quick comments. Um, I'm definitely feeling the fatigue on the third week. I'm ready for that rest week. Today's workout was a threshold one, the hardest one yet, four eight minute blocks. Um, but training road's a bit funny in how it progressively overloads you. So for the VO2 max, um, the intensity was the same, so the power's the same, but the rest was shorter. And then for the threshold workout, the um, Everything was the same, so time was the same, rest and intervals, but the watts increased by about 12 watts, I believe, by this third week. So it's uh, overloads you in two different ways, and then the endurance stuff basically gets longer or, or slightly harder. So like I say, I'm ready for that rest week next week. Looking forward to that, and it's also going to be over Christmas. I'm having my Christmas late, so that works out quite nicely as well. I have to say even on the easy workout yesterday, my quads were burning a little bit from the fatigue that's built up. Again, I am training running as well. Unfortunately, I can't swim at the moment because of my toe, um, but running is, is going in there as well. So at the end of the rest week next week, there's not actually a ramp test schedule, which is quite interesting. Usually after four weeks, you get a ramp test. Uh, on the polarized plan, there isn't. I think I'm probably gonna do one because I think my FTP has increased. Um, so I'd say the plan is effective. Um, you know, you can work hard on the hard days and then easy on the easy days. Um, how it's meant to be really rather than just sort of going in that middle. It just takes you either high end or way low end. It just cuts out that complete middle. It actually almost cuts out sweet spot as well, which is quite interesting. So I'd usually do the endurance stuff outside because it's the most boring thing inside. Um, however, due to ice and snow in the UK and then flooding, um, I haven't been able to get outside. I only got outside once, um, and I twice, sorry on the whole three weeks so far for the endurance stuff. So the two hours endurance on the turbo has been a bit tedious. Um, I've done it, but it's not been the most fun. I much prefer doing intervals for that sort of duration. It seems to break it up a lot more. So my experience so far, I'd give it about an eight out of 10. Um, I've really enjoyed it. It's, uh, like I said, it's allowed me to go hard when I need to. Um, the intensity is just about right. Today was sort of pushing me over the edge, like I say, because I was a bit fatigued. Um, but as usual with Trainer Road, it always feels like they know what they're doing and it always puts you at that right sort of level. If you've got any questions, then please leave them down below in the comments. Uh, and if you like this and you found it useful, then like the video. And if you want to stay updated on the progress and my ramp test uh, at the end of next week, then press that subscribe button and you'll be kept updated. And I'll see you very soon in the next video.